this integral looks somehow hard. What we can do is we can solve either by differentiating under integral sign or we can apply by integration by parts. So, I will solve this by integration by parts. What I will do is I will convert 1 by 10 is cot and then I will apply integration by parts. Let us see. So, this is equals to I can write integral 0 to pi by 2 x into 1 by 10 is same as cot x dx. Now, integration by part says I let. Okay, I let. So, algebraic function I will choose means x function I will choose first function. So, this equals to x into integral of cot x dx minus integral of d by dx of x is 1 and then into log of sin of x dx. Here limit is from 0 to pi by 2. See here integral cot x is I can write over here. This is log of sin of x and limit is from 0 to pi by 2. Let us find what is value of this. So, let us consider when x tends to pi by 2, okay, when x tends to pi by 2, when x tends to pi by 2, then here pi by 2, sin of pi by 2 is what? 1. So, therefore, this x into log of sin of x, it goes to 0, okay. So, pi by 2 into log of sin pi by 2 is what? Sin pi by 2 is 1, okay. So, log 1 is 0. So, 0 into, a, 0 into pi by 2 becomes 0, okay. So, what about when x tends to, what about when x tends to 0, okay. When x tends to 0, let us see. When x tends to 0, let us take limit of. Uh, x into log of sin x okay. when x tends to 0. So, this I can be written as limit of x tends to 0. This x I can send down that is log of sin x upon here I can say 1 by x. Okay. What is this? Now, if I apply LH rule then differentiation of this is limit of x tends to 0. Differentiation log of sin is what? 1 by sin x divided by dx of sin x is cos x and divided by dx of x is 1 into here differentiation is minus 1 by x square. So, is equals to this x square I will send up ok. So, limit of x tends to 0 1 by sin x into cos x into here I will get x square ok. Here I get minus over here. This x square is same as I can send one x over here. Okay. So limit of x tends to 0 x upon sin x become 1. So when x tends to 0 is become minus, minus is there here 1 cos 0 is when x tends to 0 cos 0 is also 1. When x tends to 0 it become 0, therefore it is 0. Okay. So whole limit when whole this term when x tends to pi by 2 as well as when x tends to 0, whole this become what? all this become 0. Okay. Now, let us consider this, this integral. Okay. Now, we have minus over here. Let us consider, let us consider integral of 0 to pi by 2 log of sin of x into dx. Let us call this i is integral over here. And then we have, remember integral 0 to a f of x dx is same as here 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, here instead of x, I can write pi by 2 minus x. So, this sum is 0 to pi by 2 log of sin of pi by 2 minus x dx. So, this sum is 0 to pi by 2 log of sin pi by 2 minus x is what? Cos of x dx. Now, this is also i, okay. So, now if I add these two, so let us add these two i and i. So, so remember we are solving only this part, ok. So, this part is already 0 we have. So, minus is there, always remember we have to keep minus over here. So, let us add this i and i. 
I and I become what? Twice I. This zero here zero. This is twice I is equals to integral is zero to pi by two. Here log of sin x plus log of cos x. Here log of sin x plus log of cos x dx. So by log property pi by two. Here twice i we have log of m plus log n is log of m into n. So I can write log of sine of x into cos of x dx because of log property. So we have this formula sine of 2x is 2 sine of x into cos x or you can say sine x into cos x is 2 sine x upon 2. So instead of sine x into cos x, I can write sine of 2x upon 2 over here. Okay. So e is equals to 0 to pi by 2. Log of m by n is log m minus log n. Therefore, log of sine of twice x minus log of 2. Okay. Here we have dx. So this this part integration is quite easy. What about this? Okay, for this let's substitute twice x equals to u. Okay, for this let's substitute u equals to twice x. Then my d u equals to twice dx. So my dx is what du upon two. What about limits? When x tends to zero. And then u tends to, when x tends to 0, u tends to 0, okay. When x tends to pi by 2, u tends to, when x tends to pi by 2 here, here x is pi by 2, then u tends to pi. Therefore, limit is from 0 to pi log of sine of 2 sine of u, okay. Here 2x is sine of u and then dx will come over dx is what du upon 2 okay and then uh, this integral is what we have minus log of 2 into upper limit minus lower limit pi by 2 okay here into pi by 2 will come okay. this is our substitution remember we have on the left hand side we have twice i so e is equals to half so what is sin u remember over here we have sin u is this so sin 0 is 0 and here c is 0 here this is pi by 2 here pi okay this is what sine of x okay sine x graph is this low x is one one to one function or you can say it is a uh, injective function as well as here sine x is symmetric about this uh, this symmetric at pi by 2 okay now from here to here this area so if i find this okay now from here to here twice we can say therefore we can instead of 0 to pi I can say twice half we already have half so I write twice 0 to instead of 0 to pi I will write 0 to pi by 2 with twice log of sine of u du and then here we have minus pi by 2 log of 2 okay now this 2 2 gets cancelled 2 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled and then since limit is there 0 to pi by 2 this is same as this is same as this was our i here 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx so instead of u x also no problem okay so here this is same as i so on the on the left hand side what we have we have twice i over here twice i okay so e same as this also this become i okay so if i send that side become twice i minus i is equals to minus pi by 2 log 2 twice i minus i is what i okay so we have i so i is same as pi by minus pi by 2 into log 2 so this is a quick answer for this